No. <laughs> Y'all better watch it. Oh my god, I'm about to cry. Hi, I'm Ceci Ganzil. Welcome back to Glass Down. Okay, y'all, so it's um, season 3, episode 8, the finale of The Chosen. Um, wow, it's been quite a ride, I guess. Uh, we've been following um, the entire season this past few weeks, and it's been quite emotional. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful journey and I'm such a fan of, of this season I mean every season gets better and better and better and better Wow um, so I'm gonna see this I'm gonna watch it I'm gonna see this and you're gonna join me in this reaction of the chosen finale so let's go This was a David from season My heart. two, right? <clears throat> to this, to the same the actor. It's getting intense. More intense. Run, Simon, run. Sit down. That's your answer. I don't mean you, I mean my students. Sit with me. <laughs> Chill, yes, girl. Please. Hello, Simon. Brad, I. We didn't come here to cause trouble, but it would appear that trouble has found us, so then we should address it. And how do you propose to do that, Big James? Listen to them. My friends, sit with me. We cannot go any further until we agree on something. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, come on. <coughs> Bernie, what happened with the woman Veronica? Touch power went out from you. No, I mean, what happened to her? She was healed. How? No. My friends, you forget so quickly. You are dear to me. Your memories are short. You <laughs> to go in peace. Your faith has made you well. Your what? Faith. Your faith. Thank you, Matthew. Many of you are afraid. We can right count now. on Matthew. Instead of choosing to have faith. But, Rabbi, you must see what's happening all around us. Of course, he does. Rabbi, increase our faith, Judas. If you had faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, you could say to a mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Can a mulberry tree go in the sea? He's making a point. <laughs> to be Jesus. I mean, 
to live on Earth and see this human this kind of human see see with your eyes that's right that's right No, it hurts Simon. I would strictly charge to no one in some regions and with some people. It's just not my time to be relieved and to escalate tension to soon. But it looks like the past that. Everybody is sighed. <laughs> oh. Oh, show off. <laughs> Y'all still got questions now? Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> yes, immediately. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's okay. We need to grieve. Jesus gave her feeling and joy, but he hasn't given them to me. So go to Sinagog. It's not about the rabbi there, it's the words of the Father that he can give us. Mm. That's what Jesus <laughs> it's always a big James. <laughs> Is that the last thing we need? How can I build the business without knowing what the gods want me to build? Hmm? That's a real. If you are any sort of self respecting rabbi, you will not dignify that question with an answer. Your people's condescension is unending. Oh, and there's never been another condescension in your voice, Fatia? Let's stay on topic. So here we have Eremis, paralyzed by fear that his business ambitions might not be... Jesus really works harder than anybody else. How could this be the violence? The ogre's flagrant rebellion undermined Greek authority. And yet the Jewish community was targeted in a brutal wave of attacks. My people were hardly hit for not having paperwork with Rome. And you turned to crime! Out of desperation! That is why I brought Andrew and Philip back to clarify their message. They told the story about hospitality. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path. <laughs> ah. More listening. There's no like microphone. Move back so we can welcome as many as possible. Students, please. Spread out and organize the people and help pass my words on to Lord's family. You want to send us out into war? <laughs> Go on. Mm. <clears throat> See, big chance. Stand here for protection. I mean, if you think about it, it's so much complicated. 
when Jesus says something, the disciples spread out the word, but Jesus doesn't stop. <laughs> so like they're gonna miss some things. <laughs> It looks easier. Okay. Yeah. The least he can do. That makes it worth everything. You come closer to him. This is me like, can y'all stop? Here we go. Here we go. What is this for some barley loaves? Two fish and five barley loaves. <laughs> Y'all better watch. Spoiler alert. They will be full. Joking, they were like, organized the people into groups of fifty and a hundred, gather up twelve baskets to distribute the loaves of fish. Was I unclear? You were joking. Andrew, oh my god. The kingdom yes. of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that the man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds. But when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden of It becomes a tree so that the birds of the air can come and make their nests in its branches. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> Y'all better watch it. Oh my god, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Philip, oh, it's the first one. <laughs> Press I don't know. Oh, I got goosebumps, like, seriously. <laughs> They're not even there yet. to be the disciples to see all these things happening I mean it's a good reminder to uh, I mean for us whenever we are in trouble times we should see the word of God About it is that Jesus is still compassion towards Simon. Oh, it has gotten softer <laughs> face to face. I knew it. Oh, I would love to see the conversation. I'm nervous.
<laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I, I got chills. He's now everywhere Atticus. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. Getting Simon out of there to walk on water. In this kind of situation? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh I got chills. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they are afraid. <laughs> oh my god. This surprises you? Really? Wow, this is powerful.
Now you're begging? I mean, I know the story. But to see this in, in this kind of context. Oh! My lord! Oh, wow. Well. of this parallel <sighs> wait it should be miracles in this episode or are we going to see this in the next season Wow. Oh my god, I love it. I love it very much the way they approach. Um everything everything right there. Ah, I love it. Um I think I'm gonna need a minute to process everything. <sighs> because again this episode I mean the entire season three really speaks to me personally, the message. Um just I feel like it's being told directly at me um, because of my current situation um, and this one also yeah um, oh my god oh my god oh my god I love it I love it very much this is so powerful we really have to wait for an another year or two years probably for uh the preparation the making and all that stuff but yeah um i think i mean this one we wait two years for this for this season season three but it uh 
it's worth it it's worth it yeah i love every bit of it i love every stories every 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 tiny part of this season um uh, especially all those little conversations with jesus especially specifically um yeah it's kind of like speaks to me directly um and wow um yeah i'm just blown away thank you thank you very much everyone for joining me in this um reaction the chosen season three finale episode eight i love it very much uh we're gonna see you um in season four i hope that it's coming really fast please don't make it long please don't make it don't too don't take it too long to make this <laughs> season four i cannot wait for season four um yeah so thank you so much everyone see you guys next episode and bye